Okay, I'm making this video because maybe it'll help somebody out a little bit. I hope the camera's picking this up. Um, anyway, they sell these little relay, solid state relay packages for typically 12 volt DC input and they will control up to 20, uh, 240 volt AC uh, line. Uh, hopefully common. You want to put common across the top ones. So this is this is switched and this is power. Okay, so this is a little package here. I, I bought these because I had a little project. I wanted to control uh, a Hammond organ Leslie speaker just with a 12 volt using a foot switch. Okay, no big deal. I've used solid state relays before. This is probably the fifth or sixth setup that I wanted to do. So I bought this this uh, solid state relay uh, package because it's a neat little package. It's two dollars, mostly online eBay. Okay, so I hooked the thing up and I put uh, 12 volts DC uh, across in the proper border, positive, negative. Didn't do anything. I couldn't get the continuity between the two upper mounts um, so I fooled with it and I, I looked online and I couldn't find anything I knew it had something to do with this signal okay so I looked it up and there wasn't much I'm not a super technical genius I know these are made for Arduinos or whatever the freak you call them I don't mess with Arduinos but uh, Anyway, apparently the signal is for maybe a zero, uh, four to 20 milliamp signal from a computer or dip computer switch. So that kind of frustrated me because then I couldn't use this stupid little thing. But I got to poking around with it with my meter and here's the one that actually works. So the one I took and poked around with my meter and I bypassed it. I went from the positive, DC positive side, if you could see that, it's yellow. Yellow DC positive. And I jumpered it over to the second one in from the left, as you can see. So I just jumpered the DC positive. You see that purple wire? It's a jumper wire. I just soldered it across. Um, anyway, so now that I've put power to it, when I hit the switch, as you can see the LED lights, and if I put my meter on it, I got continuity. Okay, so now it's working. So all I had to do was this simple little jumper connection to bypass the need for that control volt signal off on and my meter right there so that means now I can control up to 240 volts AC power um, with this little package without having to use a 4 to 20 milliamp signal or 0 to 5 volt DC control voltage or whatever the frick it takes. They don't show much in the line of how this is supposed to be used just for the common novice guy who wants to control something. Say you've got a tool or something you want to use a low voltage switch, foot switch of some sort and you want to control a motor, a fan, uh, tools, um, a lot of applications, a lot of uses. I like these little packages because they have the screw-on terminals. They're great for hobbyists. Um, you can buy just the solid-state relay by itself, and then you have to solder them. But uh, I like these. I like these a lot. Now that I know how to properly monkey them up and bypass them I'll probably buy a few more and use them for something else but anyway the reason I made this video is to help somebody out this one I didn't jump her 
This one's jumpered. As you can see, I'm going to try to focus this here. So it's jumpered from the DC positive to the second terminal in from the left. The other two up here are the um, are continuous with the those two. So these these two are the DC, the DC input. These two are the AC switched. And that's it. Simple enough. Anyway, good luck. Goodbye.